Hi, my name is Mike McCool, and I'm presenting this profile of the Multnomah County Public Library in Oregon for Dr. Jenna Kammer's LIS 5804 course at the University of Central Missouri in the spring of 2023. Multnomah County is the largest county by population in Oregon and the smallest in geographical size. It sits on Oregon's northern border with Washington State, and it includes the state's biggest city, Portland. The Multnomah County Libraries consist of a central library, 18 branch libraries, an administrative building, and an operations center. Its service area population is 821,730 people. In the map, the red icons represent branch libraries. The blue icons represent branches that are currently closed for construction. The green icon is the central library, and the yellow icons are the administrative and operations locations. The Multnomah County Library is classified as a city library with a legal basis as a library district. Its central library is located in downtown Portland. Its construction was completed in 1913 and it was placed on the Registry of National Historic Places in 1979. In this slide, we see the location of the administration offices and the ISOM Operations Center, where many library functions and services are performed. These are exterior photos of the Albina, Belmont, and Capitol Hill branch libraries. Here you can see the Fairview Columbia, Gregory Heights, and Gresham branches. These are the Hillsdale, Holgate, and Hollywood branch libraries. This is the Kenton, Midland, and North Portland branches. This is the Northwest, Rockwood, and Selwood Moreland branches. And finally, the St. John's, Troutdale, and Woodstock Library branches. In terms of revenue and expenditure, Multnomah County Library's total operating revenue was $88,820,320 in 2020. Almost 90%, 97% of that was local revenue, less than 0.13% coming from state revenue and a little over 3% coming from other sources. Total capital revenue was $8,882,973 and capital expenditures were $142,488. Total operating expenditures were $84,273,434. Staff expenditures made up about 67% of that and collection expenditures made up almost 10% of total expenditures. Other operating expenditures accounted for about one-fourth of total expenditures. Multnomah Library's collection consists of 1,460,230 print materials, or 2.2 per person in the service area, 481,660 ebooks, or 0.7 per person, 328,832 downloadable audio items, or 0.5 per person, 58,696 physical audio items, or 0.1 per person, 40,117 downloadable video items, or 0.1 per person, and 146,145 physical video items, or 0.2 per person. The library also has 166 databases, including 142 local databases and 24 state databases. In fiscal year 2020, Multnomah County Library offered 11,276 total programs of which more than 60% were for children and almost 8% were for young adults. All other programs made up the remaining approximately 32%. 181,147 people total attended the library's programs, most of whom, about 73%, attended the children's programs. About 6% attended the young adult programs and about 21% attended all other programs. The right side of the table shows the number of programs and attendance per 1,000 people in the service area. The Board of Multnomah County Library is made up of elected county officials, including the county chair and four county commissioners. They make up a library district board, which appoints the library advisory board, which advises and forms library operations, including policies and budgets.
Multnomah County Library employs 534 staff members, 67%, 67 of whom are librarians who hold master's level degrees in library science from ALA accredited programs. In addition to paid staff, Multnomah libraries employed 1,804 volunteers who worked a total of 46,993 hours. In addition to librarian, staff titles include library assistant, library clerk, access services assistant, and library outreach specialist. Multnomah County Library has been recognized with various accolades and awards, including the following. In 2018, the Multnomah County Library received a Community Health Outreach Award from the National Network of Libraries of Medicine, Pacific Northwest Region, to pilot the use of health information kiosks aimed at people who experience homelessness in Multnomah County. In 2014, the Multnomah County Library received a five-star rating from Library Journal's Index of Public Library Service. This is the highest rating in the index. The library also received a five-star rating in 2009, 2011, and 2012. In 2014, the library also received a $300,000 grant to make a makerspace or innovation station at its Rockwood branch. In 2009, Multnomah County Library received the nation's highest honor for museums and libraries, the National Medal for Museum and Library Service from the IMLS. This award recognizes institutions for outstanding social, educational, environmental, or economic contributions to their communities. In 1991, the Multnomah Library received the John Cotton Dana Library Public Relations Award, which honors outstanding effective strategic communication campaigns that show results. Like all libraries, Multnomah has faced various challenges. One challenge was how to serve the community during the recent pandemic. Among other things, the library responded by expanding its digital holdings and creating pop-up Wi-Fi locations so people who depend on the library for internet access could continue to get online. The libraries also had to deal with racial and social justice issues. Portland was the focus of a lot of activity after the George Floyd murder, and that brought these ongoing issues to a new level. The library used several methods to deal with these issues, but the main thing they did was to listen to their community and provide them with the services they said they needed. Related to social justice issues, incidents of violence in the libraries, coupled with reduced staffing and the switch from having county law enforcement patrolling the libraries to local police responding to calls, has led to library staff being put in the position of acting as security guards at the risk of their own safety. Another issue the library and its patrons have faced over the last few years is library closures. This has been mostly due to construction and upgrades, which is a positive thing, but in the meantime, the community has had diminished access to its central and branch libraries. The library has worked to ameliorate this by providing a number of services, but patrons will likely be glad when all the construction is done. The Multnomah County Library provides many community services. One area in which it provides services is in early childhood literacy. The Every Child programs are designed to support caregivers and educators in helping children's language and literacy development. The Child Care Book Delivery brings buckets of books to child care facilities. Early literacy classes are provided in various languages for child care and education providers. And the Every Child a Reader program incorporates the ALA's Every Child Ready to Read 2 initiative which is, designed, which is designed to encourage parents to help their children get ready to read by doing five simple practices, reading, talking, singing, writing, and playing. The library also engages with the community in many ways. One program is the Building Libraries Together initiative, which seeks to involve the community in the design and development of the libraries, many of which are going through major renovations. The library has a team of Black cultural library advocates who create culturally relevant programs and connect Black patrons with the library. The We Speak Your Language library effort helps immigrant and refugee communities succeed in the United States. Staff with cultural expertise who can help people in their native language are hired and the library provides materials and services in those languages. And the library's Digital equity efforts include leading a digital inclusion network to provide high-speed internet access and technology training to underserved communities. 
In addition to the digital equity program, the library offers computer classes in multiple languages. It also provides one-on-one -on -one computer help. You can make an appointment for that. You can also get help learning how to get your business on Google search and maps. And finally, you can learn how to use Google Analytics. To encourage lifelong learning, the Multnomah County Library has a number of resources and programs. One program, Library Connect, allows K-12 students to use their student ID cards as library cards and provides them with digital resources. The library also offers a number of resources for adult learners, such as technology training, assistance for job seekers like classes on resume writing, classes and resources for entrepreneurs and small business owners, and classes in adult literacy. Library provides training and resources for its partners in, an every, in the Every Child a Reader program. And the library provides many other resources aimed at encouraging enabling, and enabling its patrons to learn about a wide variety of subjects on its lifelong learning resources page. Multnomah County hosts a summer reading program each year in which children take part in activities and compete for prizes. Uh, the Books, you, Books to You program brings high interest books to children through school visits, and they also have a reading a summer reading program. And that's it. I hope you benefited from this presentation about the Multnomah County Public Library. The following many slides are my references.